forward. Yeah, it's great. Uh, <sighs> fuck. I look forward to giving your eulogy, but not carrying the casket. Um, <laughs> I'm just... I want to see Keith open the eulogy with, What is going on, everybody? <laughs> <laughs> and then Ryan gets up. What are we talking like, about today? What are we talking about today? <laughs> death? We doing death? Okay. <laughs> I bet you to fool. Oh, please. You know what? <laughs> I bury the fool. Um. <laughs> I won't carry the fool. <laughs> that is his best Mr. T impression yet. I bury the fool. <laughs> You ever wonder what it's like to grow up in the 80s? And he has sitcoms and where's the beef ladies? Then you need to listen in your car or at work. Now it's time for Keith is a Jerk! Well, I always appreciate the extra work, guys. What is going on, everybody? <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Keith is a Jerk. Uh, it has been a while, guys. What's going on? Everybody holding up They're during these... They're not going to respond. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, that's that's just it. You, that's where you guys are bowing out. You've Thanks. been watching so many Facebook Live videos that you thought <laughs> yeah. this was a two-way street. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. The amount of those things that have come out. Don't get me wrong. Part of it, I'm like, I think is awesome. Um, you know, obviously, we're talking about this coronavirus, and we're not going to do that the whole thing just so everybody knows. It's because... No, I don't. I don't. I don't I, I'll I turn off myself. I don't even know what's going on. Coronavirus, whatever. All I know is I've found meditation. <laughs> I've found uh, serenity in a lot of different, you know, soundscapes, landscapes, and that's all I've been really paying attention to over the last month or two. Is I've had that on TV twenty four seven. And just uh, so everyone knows, uh, as you can see, Dave plays instruments. Yeah. Well, no, it's the in the background. Well, like, he has. I love. You'll see. I love. <laughs> Dave is taking up 5% of the screen. The guitar is taking up 10% of the screen. I love oh, it. Here, the focus is supposed to be on the TV itself with the waterfalls and like what the TV? things that are going on in the background. <laughs> there you go. That's that's good. Wait, is your TV on right now, Dave? <laughs> no, there we go. That's. I need everybody while we're watching or listening to this just to focus in. Imagine waterfalls, the sound of waterfalls and calmness. You sound like a fucking serial killer right and now. <laughs> Hey, Dave, do you have one of your uh, old music videos you can put on the television? I'm just going to do, maybe I'll put, uh, maybe I'll put, maybe I'll put the uh, Arkea Z in the background. Maybe just play that on YouTube. Oh, perfect. Views or views? That- Those count as views, man. Go. <laughs> They might. I know, like, Contagion's, are those, Contagion are those is, views? Contagion's <laughs> being pumped up by Crave and Netflix. Like, every zombie movie is possibly getting multiple hits right now. So we'll oh, put Kia Z on and maybe we'll give another run through it. Try it out. Jesus Christ. Yes, yeah, hey, not the worst idea. Capitalism. Um, so let's just let's just catch up a little bit. What's everybody been up to? Ryan, what about you? Um, With all this going on, I mean, it's been very surreal with this self-quarantine what a giant life ch- lifestyle change this has not been for me at all. <laughs> it is business as usual. I've been out here in the fucking woods since December, and it's it's kind of spectacular. It's true. I've got Ryan. this weird. I've got this weird thing in my head. Like all these people are being asked to work from home and stuff like that. Now, like I'm so weird and like so insecure. Like I'm worried this is going to affect my ability to work from home. Like everybody's going to realize how great it is. Well, and you're I'm cool gonna be now. Forced to- That's the thing. You're cool now. Like you've been you trendsetter. You're the, yeah, you're the path blazer, right? So like the yeah. trailblazer. You 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 set it all up for us to follow your lead. <laughs> For no, some reason, so I'm Julie, worried Ryan, there's not anyone? enough there's not enough work from home in the world, so like other people are going to take mine. Is what I'm fucking worried about right now because I'm insane. That's logical. That's Ryan, very logical. I know that uh, I know that I've been struggling for the past like little bit. Have the past like has the loneliness been for <laughs> as okay, opposed I'm... to my baseline loneliness? Because like the last like three like years. <laughs> I'll, I'll clear it up for everybody. Ryan lives out in the middle of a forest, uh, much like Rocky and Rocky IV, uh, where he goes to train for the Russians. The difference and is I have an a- gym that's I, open right now. I have an actual punching bag. <laughs> Unlike Rocky and Rocky IV, I have an actual punching bag. Ryan even has a little robot that just wheels around singing Happy Birthday, Polly. 
<laughs> a lot of my training involves helping uh, horse-bound carriages that have flipped over in the snow, <laughs> and then just giving them a little salute afterwards. That's that's my CrossFit, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Since we're talking about it, Ryan and I pointed at. We came to this conclusion a little while ago. Anybody that he's who watches never Rocky actually Ford? flip. He's never actually flipped over a carriage when people have asked him for help. Ryan's just like, yeah. <laughs> I give him the Larry Sorry. David. I give him a Larry David. No, nah, no. Nah, White nah. gloves. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for anybody who does like watching Rocky IV, often like Ryan and I do, uh, I'm ashamed to admit it took us uh, a bunch of viewings before we realized there's no boxing training. No. He just nope. flips horses and like punches cuts wood. mountains and stuff like that. Yeah, he just cuts wood. There's no punches. He does <laughs> no sparring, thing. no Neither speed bag, them. None nothing. None of them do any. He just the the Russian guy just takes fancy machines and steroids and Rocky just <laughs> moves snow around. <laughs> and that's how they train for a boxing match. The biggest anyway. in history. Uh, yeah. anyway, we we'll have a Rocky 4 topic and we can just <laughs> really lock week. into that that's one someday. Yeah. Uh, nice. Davey, what about you? What have you been up to? How you been keeping busy? I mean, where would humanity be right now? What would you say we are? Are we Drago or are we Rocky with how we're dealing with this? Are I feel Canada I, or just in general? I feel very much like we as a society are Adrian. Here we're, we go. We're, we're just <laughs> We're just kind of sitting in the background and we're just, just going <laughs> telling like, them we can't do get things. Get up! Get up. That's what I keep telling my kids. You can't go to the store. It'll kill you. <laughs> Rocky, you can't win, kids. You can't beat him. Just stop leaving the house. <laughs> anyway, that's. You're going to die. What support? <laughs> we are the steps. That. That's all his wife ever did in those movies is just fucking tell him how he can't do it. <laughs> Mainly it's four. Mainly, she yeah. was just uh, oh, like, no, you can't. No, in, in three, he does as well, because she, Mr. T says he's going to oh, yeah, fuck her that's at right. his yeah, like, yeah. rally. <laughs> and then he's like, you know, he's like, yeah, come on over. And I'm not going to do the voice because, you know, times. <laughs> but he's uh, he's like, yeah, I'll slam your wife yeah. shut. And then uh, <laughs> I want to so bad because uh, my Mr. T is good. Um, no, I do it because he says, do it because I'm confident you can't. You I think, think you can? Think please, just a taste. On, like your Robin Williams, just give on. us a taste, a you taste of Clever this. Lane, uh, a taste, and action. Go. I, uh, the worst part is my ego says, "Just do it, man. Just do it. Everybody will accept it. There's Keith, nothing wrong Keith, with what you're Keith, doing. No, you're going to be it's fine. Just it's just me and you. It's just me and you. It's just." Yeah. Mean, just just me and your coach. Go ahead. Go for it. The worst it. part is I haven't seen the movie in so long that I would butcher the line so badly. I'm not going to do it. The point is, he says he's going to slam his wife shut. And then, and then. Who boy. And, and so Rocky goes to defend her honor. And she just starts telling him he can't. She's like, you can't win. Don't do it. Like, like that's their kid, the most insane thing. Like Rocky Five when he's like training his kid or whatever it was to him. Like I yep. related so much with his kid because I know how many like fifteen years of listening to his mother being like, "You're garbage. You'll never be like your father." <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I don't how know about time you guys. Has between, like four movies because essentially <laughs> that's what a marriage. Oh, there's is, so right? much psychological damage. <laughs> oh. Did I freeze? She worked in a fucking pet store. Like, anything from there on out should have been gravy. <laughs> Support your goddamn man. CTE and all. Oh, I'm sorry. You don't like those $4 million per fight that he gets his concussions at, Adrian? Yeah. She likes those fucking mink coats enough. Yep, she likes the robots. <laughs> Throw your fucking hands in the air They're and say... They're made from the pet store. To be fair. <laughs> Listen, my analogy stands. This is what we're doing as societies. And how am I dealing with it? I'm dealing it with it like Polly. All right? Yeah, Cheers, you're everybody. drunk in the background. <laughs> you're throwing He's Mickey's at pinball machines. <laughs> Listen, I believe in you, kid. And then I'm dead. Wait, I think you're thinking of Mickey. Are you on a beanbag chair? <laughs> I'm not not on a beanbag chair. Oh my god, that's great! Oh shit. Okay, well, okay, that just was the Rocky super podcast, quickly. Sorry, right? just yeah. just just super quickly on Rocky. Yeah, you keep talking like, about the robot. I feel like Keith forgot about the voice. <laughs> now nah, it's definitely still in my head, and I want to do it real bad. But go okay, ahead, fuck Ryan. it. No, okay, I gotta no, watch you do it. yours oh. first, and do what? I don't the, have anything. Okay, fuck it. There's just the one scene in the robot. Either this was an actual like outtake, or Carl Weathers is the greatest actor I've ever seen in my entire life. When the, the robot yes. comes in, like after months after the birthday, he comes right. in and like gives Polly a drink and then leaves. And like he does 
this double take and it's the greatest <laughs> fucking real reaction I've ever seen. Either he's the greatest mm-hmm. actor of our time or that's an outtake. Carl well, Weathers is actually fucking awesome. No, he's fantastic. I wish he was in more stuff. Arrested Development, he's phenomenal. Oh my god, uh, baby, you got a stew Jackson. going. Action Jackson, I would watch as many of those movies as they want to make. Yeah. He was incredible. Happy they made one. one. Chubbs but is the a, funny thing, Chubbs, is amazing, amazing character. <laughs> with that one, that with that robot though, it wasn't in like the movie. Somebody just went to a party and saw a robot and was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna put that in the fucking movie." <laughs> hey fool, it's uh, pretty great. Hey fool. Hey, fool. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Keep that going, on. I love it. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, we'll I save it. We'll save it. it. I'll get there. Uh, what else? Uh, so, Dave, sorry. Uh, everything's good. You're tranquil. You're forget. You're just ignoring it. Very much so. Really, like I was already at the edge with regular society as it was. <laughs> so this is this has brought me to a, a new and you know a new state of mind. I'm like again. I've got yoga going on. I've got. Uh, my kids you have no yoga. <laughs> <laughs> Buying a yoga mat does not mean you have yoga going on. A lot on. of serendipitous things in my life. All good. All good things. I don't think I'm you speaking... even have yogurt lately. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a low probiotic count right now. Um, <laughs> Literally but... show us one pose before I do Mr. T. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a trade. We're, tr- we're trading a downward, a downward dog from David. Oh, for a Mr. Oh, oh here Hold we on. go. Okay, all right. Switch the camera. Are you wearing a tank top or are those your arms? <laughs> <laughs> Did you get tattoos? I haven't seen Dave in a while. Christ, he looks, look at this. I'm going to tell you, I haven't seen oh, Dave in a long looking time. looking great. And he looks exactly like I thought he was going to. <laughs> what do we got here? Oh, wow. That's pretty. It, look at this guy. Oh, this oh, is he, he pulled a groin. He, he, he pulled if, a groin. If anyone, yeah, if anyone can't, uh, is just listening to this, uh, I don't know if the second one was so much a move as Dave just recovering from what he did. Um, he so he went into. Does anyone? I don't know yoga at all. Like, no. what kind of pose was that, Dave? Um, the first part was the archer, and then uh, the second part was a bit of a groin pull. <laughs> okay, so I was correct. That was that was the, a problem that happened. After. The second then, one was an icy hot. And then I but guess I guess fucking this, good on you, man. Thanks, that was man. Great. I didn't see that coming at all. And now I've got uh, now I've got some labored uh, breathing. Pretty good. And I guess that's not a good thing, right? Anyway, oh. I'm doing great. To answer your question, Keith, good. I'm managing through just fine. Yeah, buddy, you found some fucking yoga. That's good for you. I thought this was okay. all a joke, but then he busted so, it out. Just remind me, what was the second half of that trade? Oh yeah, Keith was gonna do Clubber Lane. <laughs> I haven't heard from him so long. Doesn't it matter. That is so much pressure. Uh, all right, I'll, I'll give it a shot here. Bob, what do you mean? I can't do it. Are you ready? I'm Robin Williams. <laughs> it's Robin, Robin Williams, Williams 2.0. I'm too scared. I, I fucked it up royally. <laughs> I'm so happy we're taking video too. I'm so fucking happy. Oh no, everything in my body, everything in my body is saying, don't worry, we'll take this out in the edit, but I'm just going to leave it because I've got nothing left. You deleted deleted the Robin Williams, but I have that. I have that. Oh, God. That was real bad. (laughs) Master impressionist. Namaste. (laughs) Namaste, everybody. That was, you guys wait, because the next one is that's all I'm going to do is the whole thing in Mr. T, because I'm going to do nothing but practice. <laughs> Holy shit, that was embarrassing. We would have settled for B.A. Baracus, and you gave us just a Tourette's noise, basically. <laughs> oh, I, got, I, got done. <laughs> I feel I feel like that fucking, the fat guy who got brought out to dunk with the like bouncy thing, like if you can dunk this, you're going to get like a million dollars or whatever. Oh, the and trampoline then, uh, guy? And yeah, the, yeah. yeah, and the crowd's just like, yeah! <laughs> and then just fucking falls off, hits like a woman in the face, and collapses <laughs> on his lung, you know? That that's was what, bad. That's what it sounded like. That was like. really bad. <laughs> Whew. Can we wrap anyway, this so I can see that footage? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so sorry, everybody. That was horrific. That was a- Bobby, what have you been up to? Bob, we've missed you. Welcome back, buddy. Hey! Yes. Bob's everybody. back, everybody. It's- been oh. a hot minute. <laughs> <laughs> this is how Bob talks now. <laughs> Bob's rolling with a new crowd. 
Bob, did you just get so- back from, uh, where was that, Cleveland? Soda mixed with um, mm. emergency vitamin C packets. <laughs> well done. Jesus. So this is the first sober podcast I've done in quite a while. <laughs> we can't wait to get through March because it's fucking Corona time. So give it up for April. April. <laughs> Strip, the strip club DJ is telling jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me he doesn't look like one right now. Namaste. <laughs> he does. Namaste. <laughs> You've seen her sections. Now you're going to see her on stage. <laughs> um, Fellas. Mm. <clears throat> ah, that's great. I love it. Uh, amazing. So that's what you're doing, Bob? You're just watching that? I haven't watched. Just to be clear, yes, all I'm doing is watching Love Is Blind, just redecorating and apartments with uh, for this. Run yes. gym. Yeah. Why are why, I'm, I'm, I'm well, not I'm not an interior decorator by any stretch, as you can tell from my yeah. Mr. T impression. Um, but <laughs> what is why is that painting touching the other painting? Like, why are they so close? Which paintings? The Oh, the Run Jin. Run Jin. The two that are touching, you know, is probably what I was talking about. <laughs> I th- well, it's f- I think it's for you to decipher. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's everything mm-hmm. I know about it. It's 2020 interior design, Keith. He lives in Toronto. I mean, that's you, fair. Would, you wouldn't get it. No, I wouldn't. Yeah, that's, I mean, you heard my Mr. T. Um, the, uh, hmm. the painting that was behind there was three naked people, so I thought I'd change it up. <laughs> well, that's good. What, <laughs> Just, behind, we like have that's a lot what of, was there? Yeah. And so you took was, it, why'd you take it down? So it was think, you and well, who else? For all, for all the, our, our, our minor audience. Right, to keep uh, our Y7 rating. Thanks, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of, big shout out to uh, all my arts camp kids that shouldn't be listening to this. Uh, appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so sad about it. <laughs> uh, it still might happen, buddy. It still might happen. Good, yeah, Bobby's good, good. coming hope, to teach this year. Does. I brought Bobby in to come teach at that uh, arts camp, so it's going to be great if it happens. Uh, like, what are we the talking about here? I so just, hope it does. Just to, Sorry, get go things, ahead, Dave. just to get things going again. Like, what are we talking about here? Are we talking about you just have to go on Word for a day and create a waiver form saying, listen, wash your hands, tell me you don't have any symptoms, and we yep. can all hang again. Like, what's the problem? Let's do this. Arts camp, whatever. <laughs> I trust people enough to not hold back any symptoms. You should. I think that all evidence is pointed towards the goodness of humanity. <laughs> and I, for one, take all my advice I'm from gonna... a man in a corner, uh, barely reaching over the screen on the something he had clearly enough time to set up. Yeah. Uh, from somebody who's part... never had any Listen. faith in humanity for a second until now. That's what I'm saying, Dave Ryan. Just... I've turned Dave, over just... a new leaf. You like being on the fucking other team. That's all it is. What are you talking about? Oh, what I am I talking it. about? For the last 10 years that I've known you, if not longer, you just hated everybody in the world. It doesn't matter if they're good or bad. Even yourself. And the second that everybody turns the other way where they're trying to be good, then you're like, then you just completely switched. And now you're like, I don't know, everything should be great. Like, it's pretty awesome now. You just like being on the other team. Uh, That's a very fair. Fence. I don't know. Very good. I don't know what you're talking very about at all. Good. I think I that love if how you he holds the microphone at the bottom, like it's like a. I think that if you give humanity a chance and like you say, "Hey, you got a bit of a sniffle and it's nothing," I believe him. Come on in. There's only 400 other people in this building at the same time. I trust your judgment. Here we go. Let's uh, keep going. Hey, namaste, s- namaste. You just believe in the goodness of the, the healing power of patience and Guys. kindness and. We'll be fine. The The healing power of patience. (laughs) And kindness. I am so fucking scared of Dave right now. Oh, it is is a terrifying thing. You know when your dad Um, would get so mad at you that he was calm? Right. Ryan, I'm not going to lie to you. That's a pretty great analogy right now. (laughs) You know when your your dad gets so so mad at you that he starts speaking very clearly? I gave you one thing to do, and you couldn't do that on your mother's. That's what Dave is getting right now. (laughs) He does that thing. He does that thing right before he's about to say it where he goes. (laughs) And you just you just hear the little breath come out all stuttered and you're like, oh, it's going to get bad. Mm-hmm. No, it's great. Zero Dave 30. No, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. Zero Dave 40. Plus. <laughs> Zero Dave 240. <laughs>
Mm. All right. So I thought of one story that I was going to tell real quick about uh, sickness uh, being mm-hmm. in public school. So I can't remember exactly what grade this was, but it was like grade four. Um, I was a lucky kid. I think Bob and I were talking about this. Not the same upbringing, but for whatever reason, just being around all the dirt, I, I didn't get very many colds or coughs. I was, I was a pretty healthy kid. Um, uh, so anyway, uh, my teacher comes up to me toward the end of the year and she was like, hey, I just want you to know at assembly next week, if you want to invite your family, you're getting an award. And I was like, holy <laughs> fuck. I was like, are you kidding me? I was like, okay, wow. I was like, this is awesome. I was like, I've never gotten a fucking award before. And uh, and so we the day comes. Um, and, of course, my parents are not right there in the front. And uh, they give me the <laughs> award anyway. And as we're going, right. um, I get up there. And, and they're giving away all these cool awards. You know, art award and, like, you know, smartest kid and stuff. And... You know, you know my skin is crawling right now. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, me exactly. too. The, the yeah, anticipation would, is destroying me. Oh my god! Oh, so Bob god, would be on. singing "Beautiful, Beautiful, Beautiful, Beautiful Coal" all day. <laughs> I'm gonna start falling. And, <laughs> so I'm I'm sitting there and I'm just I am I'm glowing because they've saved it. I'm like, holy shit, guys! I I think I'm getting kid of the year. Like I think I think my time has come. <laughs> Understand, I am very well aware that I have not earned any of the whatever this Unders- award is. Understand also, there's no such award as Kid of the Year. There's no such award. That's how stupid I am. That's <laughs> how dumb I believe am. you. That's how dumb I am. So, uh, I'm sitting there, and finally they go, last but not least, this year, uh, for the Attendance Award. And they're like, come on up, Keith. And I was like, the fucking what? Oh. And I was like, I was like... Uh-uh. It dawned on me. I was like, I, I thought I was getting a cool award. I was like, the best that you could think about me all year long is I was there. Every day. Yeah. That's the you best. Invest, your parents say you're going to school no matter what. Yeah. That's, that's what I got. They're like, hey, Keith, thanks for being. Thanks for being. Uh, and then, and this is no, no slight. This is just uh, something that I noticed that also happened. Um, you know, there's a, 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 a challenge kid in our class, and he also gets the award. So he, they, he comes up, and he's in a wheelchair. <laughs> and he and was in, a, him the, he was in the mirror that I was carrying around. It gets so much worse. So this kid looks at the award, it and does? just they give, him the, they give him the award, and he just looks at it and just chucks it on the ground. And I was like, yeah, buddy, fucking right. I was like, no. I'm with you, man. Like, this is nonsense. <laughs> And then they're like, oh, my, oh, he has such a hard time. I was like, no, nah, I've seen this guy all year long. He's fine. He just knows this is fucking stupid. What a dumb thing. She built me up so much. I told everybody. I, like, wore my best garbage clothes, you know? Like, fuck. <laughs> it sucked. That sucked. The, the, the key takeaway here is never end on the attendance award at an assembly. That's not the closer. Like, I, I think, I, like, I was like, were they just fucking with me? <laughs> like, at the end, they're like, I'm going to fuck with that poor kid. Like, the we're going to give him the oh, attendance yeah. award last, right after smartest kid. This is kid. an esteem builder. Right, right after, <laughs> right after best kid, we're going to give attendance. <laughs> fuck you, Keith Cooper. I was oh, picturing, like, you were going to get the carry treatment. They were going to drop blood on you or something like that and laugh. I don't know. That would be food, sort of, you know? Like, that'd be fine. <laughs> it's like you and the janitor had a perfect record. Yeah, right? <laughs> Much like me, you'll never leave this school. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going anywhere, bro. My parents didn't want me at home either. <laughs> yeah. I was, I'm sure there were plenty of times I tried to stay home. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, Ryan, what about you? You better have a story. This was your idea. It wasn't my idea. Uh, speaking of awards, I think Bob <laughs> had something to talk about. I have an award story? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's sort of like on the last day. So uh, uh, Bob and I, <laughs> Bob and I just finished uh, uh, making a movie together. Not I can't believe deal. it's taken you this long to bring it up. I can't Not believe it. No, no, I'm kidding. No I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm being a dick. I mean, what are we going to do? When am I going to find time for post-production? <laughs> Guys, what? <laughs> Guys, what? We make movies. <laughs> hey, Guys. Deal. Wow. It feels like my fucking attendance award all over again. <laughs> Don't talk about my achievements. Just fucking kick me in my mouth. Um, World lines uh, up for we Keith both know, Cooper. We all know I don't actually have the emotional shelves to put the award on, so <laughs> it's fine. Um, anyway, 
we finished this, <laughs> and there is something magical about Bob that is uh, is is truly magnificent. If you give, I don't know if, where it comes from. <laughs> I, I have a feeling, but I'm not gonna yeah, rehash if you things. Do, we can get to this on this podcast. We can get, <laughs> like, I will open myself up to this 100. percent Is that? I wanted to get to the bottom of this. Uh, uh, is would you call it a flaw? Personality flaw? No, it's I gift. think it's just gift. it's it's much it's like my it's like my impressions. Much like the guy who got the award after you, it was a gift. <laughs> is it you living the three stripe life? We're working on this movie. For anybody who doesn't know, Bob does uh, all the sound on other movies that I've written for him and stuff too, like that. So Despite I will how purposely my audio sounds right now. I, <laughs> I will purposely don't worry, guys, write I in. Do this for a living. <laughs> I will purposely write in scenes where uh, people get awards into the movie just to fuck with Bob. Like because. I just like the uncomfort that Bob gets on set. Uh, Bob has a thing. Are you serious? Fictional. Yeah. Is yeah, that all so, based on our podcast from before? Like hearing about Bob winning awards? That's yeah, it's incredible. great. If Bob sees someone get an award, he starts getting all teary and it fucks him up so bad. So in all these Christmas I'm movies, <laughs> so for all these Christmas movies that I write, I always write some sort of award scene so that I know on set it's going to be super awkward for Bob and and. Our uh, the director Justin. The boom mic starts trembling into the shot. And, What's this uh, guy crying? That's it's seriously, uh, like literally, I'm staring at my mixer and something, and I'm, I'm concentrating. I'm staring at my, mi- and I'm like kind of like, uh, and then all of a sudden I hear this. I haven't, I have I, like, I'd never read these scripts, so I, uh, I, I like, I'm sitting here listening, and then the thing comes through. Somebody gets an award, and I'm just like this. And I'm just like, oh my god, like I know, it's, I know he's fucking that's, with me, but I know it's working, I which is even fucking worse that's how i was when they said somebody's getting an award and they said attendance and it was keith and i was like <laughs> fuck <laughs> same thing bro i feel you uh so anyway you guys should all no. um this is a horror movie there's no scene <laughs> where there's going to be an award given away yeah, and believe me nothing I, nobody's getting any award i tried i tried so hard but it gets so much better in the movie uh we had to, we built a set <laughs> Um, and it was a little kid's bedroom and, uh, um, and the art department, nothing to do with us, puts a fucking little trophy on the top shelf. Uh, like this little kid got an award. And as soon as Justin and I both eyed at the director, we just looked at each other. It was like a, uh, like a, an eighties movie where it was like, (laughs) <laughs> I walked in probably seconds later and saw it and said, oh, fuck. <laughs> so sure enough, on the day of rap, I think we... Oh, so fucking by the skin of our teeth, by the way. Every other movie production um, shut right down. Like, uh, yeah. it's it's crazy. Like, they have yeah, shut Yeah, like the day, every day before, down. I gather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So on Friday, we just made it in. Uh, so we wrapped on Friday, and then Bob's tired and exhausted. Everybody's tired. It's a long shoot. And uh, so then I presented Bob with the little trophy. And even just as a joke, like he knows it's coming and he still can't help himself. He still, he still gets all misty and all fucked up. It's so great. I highly recommend that if you guys write movies uh, and Bob's going to do your sound, put awards in it. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm trying to get there. I'm trying to get the rights to Mr. Holland's Opus 2 just so I can do this. <laughs> oh, my God. <sighs> Was anybody uh, rolling? Best crying goes to me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have video? Oh, was anybody rolling during this? No. Uh, oh, that's a shame. No, you, Justin might have rolled on it. He might have, actually. It's the kind of thing you really want to take in. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, It's yeah. an experience. <laughs> phones down. Phones down. Yeah, like, it's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. an experience. Bob Bob crying over awards is like concert, you know? <laughs> it's Yeah, it happens a lot. It's great. <laughs> um, so, like... I might Amazon you something then, just like, <laughs> like, it's like, it's like just an if award where you like open a the box after you. I would have cried. <laughs> yeah, you, you fucking he didn't. One hundred. He was not happy. I think he was. I just realized. I think he, I don't even think he was pissed about the attendance award. I think he was mad that he got the same award as me. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's, He's like, like same fucking award as this guy, Keith. Are you fucking kidding me? So I Jesus got the Cooper Christ. Award? Fuck. Yeah, we've had similar lives. Yeah, he's like, that kid eats fucking so much paint. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck, I did legit eat paint, too. That's the worst part, man. <laughs> 
Although your legs do look like they should be in a chair. <laughs> I'll tell you what, food. No, I killed you. So. <laughs> hey, food. You got pipe cleaners for legs, food. <laughs> Thought I could sell it on the second time. Yeah, what are you going to do? Yeah. You'll get there. That was better. Uh, <laughs> uh, gave it a shot. Real bad. I fucking deserve the attendance award. You know what? Now that I'm seeing myself, now that I'm seeing myself through this lens, yeah, I, that's all I deserved. Fuck that. <laughs> I like the idea that you. Gave you oh, my God. I like incredible. the idea that you missed like four days and they just didn't notice. <laughs> That's how invisible I was. Oh no, Keith is here. Keith is here. He's here somewhere. He's, he's, I saw him earlier. He's totally here. Yeah. Probably yeah. poor the, kid with the with the paint oh. mouth. The paint mouth kid yeah. is here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Fun I side note. I think my t- a- so oh, go ahead. ahead. I was just gonna say, fun side note for that. I think my teacher's name was Mrs. T. So. <laughs> I was the fool she pitied. <laughs> that should have been the award. Ooh. Most pitied. It was. Keith Coog- what Keith- do you mean should have been? That's exactly what it is. It Give this award- fucking... It was an award for worst legs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. Shut it down. <laughs> oh. God, I'm, not suppo- I'm not supposed to be here. Oh. I'm not supposed to be here. The worst part oh. is the kid with MS in the wheelchair beat me for best legs. That's the worst legs. That's, that's why he's, we got to. That's why he's throwing it down. <laughs> he's like, those skinny fucking things, are you kidding me? Oh. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, Woo. good God. <clears throat> How about you, Dave? You ever get sick? <laughs> oh. oh. Yeah, I got sick. It was the greatest time of my life. <laughs> what? Honestly, it was... Please go. It was incredible. Oh. In grade two... I can almost, it's funny because I was saying this the other day, because what we're going through right now is a respiratory kind of thing, but I got pneumonia in grade oh, two. And okay. I can I can remember, I was wearing a little, remember the little fox kind of polo yep. shirts, you yep. know what I mean? They had, had a little yeah. fox yeah, 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 on yeah, yeah. them. Yeah. I can remember my shirt I was wearing. I remember walking out in like a fucking late October day. It was freezing cold, but our kindergarten teachers were kind of shit back mm-hmm. in the day. So yeah. out I went for recess, jumping in a giant pile of leaves in this little fox shirt. And the next day I came down with the sniffles, started throwing up, mm-hmm. whatever it was. So far you're talking about like a Robert Frost <laughs> poem, you know what I mean? Like, And I got... Sounds to life. Like I, my mom woke me up, I started throwing up, I was in the hospital then in an incubator for like two weeks. Fuck. I had pneumonia. Holy Christ. Like I was out of school and I got so much attention and so much jello. Oh, it was incredible. It. But like yeah. isolation too, so th- I remember... I was, <laughs> I was in the hospital. I'm eight. What am I? Eight years old? Seven years old? And you so, kindergarten, you stupid fuck. I'm grade two. <laughs> oh, I said, said kindergarten. No, grade two. You projecting you asshole. You said the kindergarten teachers were stupid. <laughs> oh, you did. True. You did yeah. say that. Grade two. Grade two. No, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I did say that. Sorry. Anyway, so I had this tent over top of me too. So my bed had a big. It's because kind he was in kindergarten in, it. It in an was, adult sized tent is the main problem. But anyway, yeah. I feel right. like I feel like every moment in my life after has been me trying to get back into this tent, <laughs> where it's just pumping oxygen and life into me. And then when I got back, every, I was like a hero. It's like I'd done something. Yeah. Everybody had written me letters like saying oh, wow. get well soon. Like every like all the girls in class, all the guys in class, like. Everybody, everybody in like the grade above me and the grade below me had all written this, like this big card. I got toys, I got presents. My mom came, my dad came and visited me. There's the no following that Doctors, ever. No like, following that ever. Right? No. Yeah. So that's like, 
Mr. Am, Thompson's <laughs> opus right there. Like, so here yeah. I am having a really hard time breathing, but also happier than I think I could ever possibly achieve to, you know, dude, once I'm dude, out, because I just got to live regularly. Gender reassignment surgery. <laughs> yeah, I was already a, a very proud lesbian at that time, too. So <laughs> I was in I was in my own dorm of the hospital, too, because they didn't oh know me to put me with. So yeah, Dave, it was great. It was at awesome. the end of the year, just, when they presented you oh, with the award for most water and lungs... <laughs> Luckily you, enough, it's uh, genetic, so hopefully my kids will experience oh, the fuck. same thing. Wow. Jesus Christ! I I want them. You no, know, they're fine. I just realized. I just realized, Dave. Your problem with life is that you peaked in grade two. Yeah, that's absolutely it. Like I I was non-binary. <laughs> I was getting paid attention to. Very good. Every, Very good. Everything was everything was outstanding. Like there was just, no, there was no just definition. Just that one in. <laughs> it was perfect. Like it was I was a perfect being at the time. And like I was sick. People paid attention to me. My father loved me. You know what I mean? There people actually showed genuine concern. And after that, yeah, everything had like there was Just expectations. Chasing was that, chasing that. that every day <laughs> since then. <laughs> anyway, that's for me when I was sick. I like and like I've had. The oh my god! Cold so much there. just I, became clear. Like Dave on another podcast says, like his dream vacation is being at the bottom of a well. <laughs> like silence in the lamp style where it's wet. It's isolated. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Buffalo Bill's looking at me, puts the lotion on the, like, no, I'm good. Sending like, send you a whiskey Adam. bottle down on the little thing. Like, yeah. That's it. <laughs> I would say emotionally you're there. <laughs> like, I had a virus. I had a virus uh, this year. And it puts the butter on its body. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't ask Stop it to. The it just Mr. did T. it. Stop eating the butter. <laughs> that was my Mr. T. <laughs> that was Mr. T throwing butter down a well. Like I had a virus this year. I didn't go to the hospital. Like, I went and got antibiotics. Like my, I had a like. It was so bad. Like it actually one night. Like I had that an ear infection, terrifying. and like my ear started bleeding. It was that bad of an of an mm. ear infection, and um. But I woke up the next day with Kleenex in my ear. Nobody paid no mind. You know what I mean? It's just different. It's just different these no days. No mind. Healthcare in the yeah. <laughs> Anyway. Oh, that, my God. Yeah. Grade two was fucking the tits for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so I missed, great. Honestly, I missed a lot of like learning arithmetic and, and subtraction, but I gained a lot of followers. <laughs> Your your greatest success is your most is your biggest failure. Like your body failed you, and that was your most success that you've ever yeah, had. Yeah, I'm not sure if I would call white blood cells <laughs> followers. <laughs> they haven't left me yet, oh. and they're doing a lot more work these days, Bubba. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> yeah, we saw the fucking Archer pose. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm my groin still. Yeah, David will not be getting up for the rest of the night. <laughs> You're down for the night. I am laid up. <laughs> there goes old Iron Lung Thompson. <laughs> no more crossing over Bobby breaking his ankles. Holy fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, that's great. Fuck, yeah, I learned yeah. so much, man. Like you need to try one of those isolation chambers. Are you kidding me? Do I need to try one? <laughs> what do you think my retirement savings is? I think. That do I would need work to try one? Are you kidding you. me? You can yeah, never get. Do you do them, one. Dave? Do I do them? No, I'm. Here's the deal. <laughs> he aspires for them. There's he aspires people, for them. There, there are certain people that have addictive personalities. There's like, like I love a cocktail. I'm sure. worried about heroin. Like when I thought I was a hipster cool, I'm like, if I do yeah. heroin and I get in with the wrong crowd where they think that's cool. I have an addictive personality. If I get myself, I know myself. This is no social. Like, this is not a social thing. I know myself personally. If I expose myself to an isolation chamber, yeah. I'm No, not you're not coming back. Coming back. Yeah. You'll be like lawnmower, lawnmower man. Fucking, You'll just become part of the machine. Yeah. Like, I'll have a backpack. I'll have a backpack while I'm I walking in. Say, Mr. Thompson, welcome for your 8.30 a.m. appointment. Thank you very much. And she doesn't know that I have an acetylene torch and a bunch of welding brand stuff. Like, to, like just from lock the my, from the inside. Side. I've just welded the whole damn thing. Oh, yeah. A six pack at his feet and a bucket of chicken. That's it. Dave's uh, trying to fucking vanilla sky himself. Oh, that's incredible. I love it so much. Oh, that's great. Oh, fuck, I hear you though. I actually, uh, my wife is terrified 
uh, because I have an addictive personality for the same, like not for an isolation chamber. That's ridiculous. You're a, a grown man, well, <laughs> but <laughs> we've seen my projects, Bob. I, I did not we're, build all. We're, you we're really, me. we're really worried about your well being. Isolation addiction. turns into like twelve hours of him trying to perfect Mr. T. Like that's <laughs> addictive as it gets, right? It's just like, but Next week, hey, it's hey, oh. hey, I like how it's obviously carpentry behind him, and he thinks it's welding. <laughs> <laughs> the best part is there's one spot in this theater that my uh, uh, lovely wife has built for me and all I had to do I was put she in... built this for you <laughs> oh she yeah there's no doubt she built it all <laughs> I built one little part where I had to not even built that's the wrong word that's my ego uh, I had to drill one part where I could put my my top speakers for the Atmos right. and the wood has fallen off the two <laughs> spots that I did it <laughs> everywhere else looks great but I really fucked she up she did a great bad. job in there she did yeah it's, it's she just I, she looks at me like that kid who got the award after me she's just like <laughs> she saw the wood and she's just like ah, alright I'll fix it <laughs> it's fine <laughs> <coughs> Good times. Bobby, how about you? How sick are you all the time? <coughs> Good timing. Um, yeah. Well, believe it or not, guys, grew up pretty privileged, so didn't get sick a lot. <laughs> <laughs> we could afford the second That's tier That's my sub. best part. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> the shodden fruit of all these entitled sons of bitches now getting some coronavirus is amazing. Like, all right, Bobby. I know, and they're surfing. <laughs> <laughs> They're surfing and they have rosy I mean, cheeks. That's actually... It's everybody. <sighs> I actually had to just... Uh, I got a, f a call from uh, a couple of my former arts camp kids there, Bobby, just uh, being like, hey, just saw you, you know what I mean? Blah, 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 having a good time. And they're all partying together. And I stopped them. I stopped their good time. I was like... Yeah, go home. Well, I was like every one of you. I started fucking uh, yelling at them. No I was fucking... yelling at children that are no, not my children. No, you should fucking yell at those people. That's why. I feel like they're a good dick. kids, but they're making mm. dumb decisions. I hired a kid about a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, and he came in, and uh, I'm just we're doing a little bit of thing. We have, we're selling off some of the product at the store I work at, and he came in. Him and his parents, like his parents, were still in the car. He came in, paid his money. I'm like, hey man, you smart kid? <laughs> <laughs> he's just looking at me. He's like, what? I'm like, are you? A Dave smart is kid? asking I'm him like, if he has pot. Like by the way. <laughs> I just, but I'm just. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> you cool, bro? You cool? I'm like, you, party? you, know, what's, you know what's cool? Hanging out by yourself. Yeah, and you meant it. I'm like, I'm like, and I mean every minute. I'm like, I know you're 16, 17 years old. Let me get, let me fucking drop some oh, knowledge on God you right in now. Heaven. You're you're gonna you are gonna love hanging out. But might as well get good at it now. Learn weld. how to fucking download some some shit and weld. And like, did you show him the the archer? The earth is a beautiful thing, right? You kind of want to invest. Just in touch. I'm picturing Dave with like the hand on the shoulder speech, like, son, let me tell you something. Get yourself some pneumonia. <laughs> oh, no, he's way past his prime for pneumonia. Like, I'm talking to girls who were making me cardboard cards with like hearts in them saying, get well soon. You know what Those I mean? Those were lungs, Dave. Those, Those were not hearts. No innuendos. Those were lungs. Those <laughs> No innuendo whatsoever. There wasn't like it wasn't like when it was in grade four and five when like dances started to go. become a thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. We're talking grade two when it was like when a heart opened. You saw a heart. It had no connotation. It was just, hey man, get yeah. well soon. And the thing is, is like that's perfect. You can't come see me. I don't have to respond. <laughs> I'm just getting the attention. It's incredible. You found the perfect relationship. No, seriously, unbelievable. This has been so eye opening. Dave loves being the dying kid. Okay, now Dave. <laughs> There's no, there's no way I can make it last. Hold That's on. the only. What do you think I've been trying to do Dave? for the last forty years of my life? How do I have an, How do I have some kind of pandemic going on, where it's just me going through a multiple different viruses and okay. everyone's just sending me? That's, well That's why all the drinking and the smoking. He's just trying to get back to that place where he's. Ryan, you're fucking not far <laughs> off. Like now, you just hit me with something like this. Okay. Multi I have a very serious question, and I want you to be as honest as my Mr. T impression. <laughs> How many times did you start to fake the illness again to get back to where you were when you were older? Ooh, that's Ooh. a good question. Ooh. Keith, I think this virus, I think the virus I had in the winter was actually fake and I just made my ears <laughs> bleed to attention. It's like 
like a Buddhist monk just like taking over his body. <laughs> I think I do it in my sleep. He just fucking sits and stares at the wall and just... <laughs> and just starts that scene like, in I'm like 11. That scene in Kill Bill. Wiggle your big toe. Wiggle your big toe. Wiggle your big toe. Yeah, I'm like... I'm like 11 from... I love the idea Stranger that you're as interesting just, and have superpowers, but you just fucking use it to shoot blood out your ears and get sympathy. <laughs> oh, that's all I want, and that really comes back to death. Fuck, that's great, <laughs> Jesus, buddy. I, I'm I'm at a loss because I've I've never learned so much about you in one moment. Listen, I was I was I I'm so I'm a sound uh, guy by trade right now. But um, growing up, I had these crazy ear infections, mm. crazy mm. ear infections, probably every couple weeks. But uh, I don't want to talk about them. But do you guys remember how good <laughs> that banana amoxicillin tasted? I know oh exactly God. what you're talking about. about. I know that. Uh, uh, yeah, we all, yeah. we all do. We all know. I have an eight and a six-year-old. Yeah. Yeah. More of that. Yeah. My six-year-old hates it. My eight-year-old well, loves it. I find yeah. I tried it out. Like it's great. normal sugar-free Rockstar tastes a little bit like that, mm-hmm. and it's like as close as I've come Is that to right? it. Right? Yeah. Bobby might Man, have a new addiction. To get some some vodka amoxicillin. How far away from just <laughs> <laughs> like that's what I'm Amen. saying. Rum, rum. Oh, call rum it the <laughs> call it <a> yellow Bobby. <laughs> call it the award. Call it a word. Oh shit! What was the ear inf- What were the ear infections from? Just, just from privilege. Swimming. I had it too. I had tubes in my ear. All privilege. The all the pools. Yeah. Swimmer's ear yeah. from all the pool. Lab yeah. Pools, Fucking hot tubs. yeah. All the sweet words of love being spewed in your ear canals just turned into <laughs> rich uh, love that just couldn't get processed miss, by your brain. Miss, as Mrs. Charters, I'm up. sorry. Your son has yeah. too much love in his ear. Love and music and uh, chlorinated water. You need to stop whispering I love right. you into your son's ears every night. You're my You're present. Perfect, little <laughs> You're a gift, Bobby. Oh, You're my that's gift. Why I sleep with headphones on now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably. Uh, what happened? Okay, so when you had all these ear infections, were you one of those kids? Like, did you have to wear like a helmet when you went out? Yeah, like a helmet for your ears. <laughs> what? I uh, <laughs> do you remember like I, a wrestling I had helmet? <laughs> <laughs> and, um, I had. Uh, did you ever what? Uh, when I took swimming lessons? Okay. I had to wear the the, the cap, the the swimming cap. Oh, okay. that Anybody thing. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. Polo? Remember how bad that shit hurt? No. Yep. How are we supposed to know? We're poor, Bob. You guys don't remember? It was terrible. I do. Bobo. I'm middle class. I, I know that much, I got Bob. A picture I'm middle class. Of, I, got a picture of, <laughs> I got a picture of me in grade three. My mom thought I needed to lose some weight. I joined the Midland swim team, and I had a swim cap on, too. And I had tubes in my ears. Yeah. And Lord knows I got ear infections yeah, after that, too. Didn't get any fucking well. cards, my dude. What do you mean, tubes? What do they do? Look at us now. I don't know. If so whatever our quack what family doctors do. did... So what these were little blue things. They looked like Mine little sea, green. little seashells. Mine were my little blue things. They look like little blue seashells. They're just in your ears until one day they fall out when you're a fucking what? teenager. They're I like suppose. baby teeth. Your, doc, your Mine doctor came out as a kid. You have to have your a doctor put to them, have them put in. I remember I had a doctor right, surgery right, where I had too. my sinuses scraped at the same time. <clears throat> that was the most fucked up Fuck. this shit's ever been. That I'm telling you, healthcare in the yeah. age, I don't think they scrape sinuses anymore, do they? <laughs> Any doctors listening, feel free like, to comment. Healthcare in the eighties was very similar <laughs> to like leeches. Is, like, I remember this it was is the just first like, time I've heard those like words used in just, combination together, so I'm yeah, sure no. Yeah. Sorry, Dave, go. No, so we were allergy testing. Like so Baba and I both went through the allergy yeah. test when we were kids, man. Like gross they're so, so this bad. doctor we get sent to toronto and and my mom's in the room and this doctor just comes up with this like full tray that has 12 glass needles pretty much sticking out of it he's like take your shirt off and i am plump like, it's terrifying it's like that it's like that droid, it's like that droid i know how this story goes star wars that comes like, in oh the yeah. droid thing oh yeah, yeah absolutely yeah, yeah. i'm like oh, Han Solo. I'm Damn like Han Solo in Empire, like just leaning into this, right? Like, so yeah, he's, absolutely. He's... Yeah, that's who you're like. <laughs> <laughs> no, because right afterwards, Han is like, I yeah, feel exactly. Awful. <laughs> anyway, so my back, Holy like shit. my back's full exposed. He puts <laughs> one thing of like he does like five, I think five rails of different allergens. Like, yeah, oh, 
I have five rails on my exposed back. Yeah, that's, that's exactly, exactly what I went through on. at church. That was church, yeah. Is that? Yeah. <laughs> Turns out I'm not allergic. Anyway, I was allergic to a lot of stuff. <laughs> you're intolerant. You're not allergic. And after this <laughs> event, Neil's for, it was three that years was of week. I so got this, the attendance award. This doctor Sorry, keep hits me with a bunch of stuff. I'm allergic to grasses, whatever I am. Three years, three years oh my God. of needles every week at my family doctor's after that. This is after I had pneumonia. Mm-hmm. This is the wow. exact same year. So I got tested for all these allergies. <laughs> and like... You lying little shit. These 80s <laughs> pediatricians, you had, I'm telling you. And so you. They, they put me through the gamut and uh, I got exposed. Like apparently I'm allergic to everything under the sun. And so now I feel like I'm not allergic to anything. That's why I do darts and alcohol like mofo. Guys, I got, I'm like a superhero. <laughs> Whatever they injected with me, like now I can have cigarette smoke, uh, grasses. I'm outside all the time. And well, like just a little sniffle or sneeze. But at the time I was allergic to everything and it meant a needle every week for three years as a kid just yeah. showing up and the best part about it i think it's entirely it's entirely possible that you're just allergic to approval but it's uh, never come up so (laughs) so the worst part is now looking back at it this fucking just hit me is that you know i you know my dad enjoyed a cocktail i enjoy a cocktail right now but i'm thinking that every week every week (laughs) i went to get these needles the best part about it, and I asked, I remember asking the doctors if I could open the alcohol swab because I love yeah. the smell of the alcohol swab. Are you I remember it to me? this day. I'm like, oh my God. Mm, smelling the alcohol swab on my arm. And to this day, I'm like, yeah, that's nice. All right, cool. Yeah, that, I figured that out just live right now. That That is where. That's the how, saddest thing I've about? ever heard. Cure, cure how much do you like, Dave? Allergens. Do you do a little like. Into the drink and just rub it on the arm, just to, uh, <laughs> start, to bring yourself back to, start to that my place. Day, Ryan, I'm pretty sure conception happened while they were drunk. Dave. <laughs> to start, I don't want to. I'm no doctor. To start my day, Ryan, that's exactly how I do it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> no, but that it was intense when you oh, were the kid wow. in the '80s. That shit stung. Yeah, I remember man. it itching so bad and it stinging so bad. Maybe you were allergic to tests. <laughs> okay, here's the uh, here's here's where Dave's and I's story kind of uh, the beginnings of where your we parents part started off in caring our for the situation. Right. <laughs> yeah, <Right>. my parents <laughs> cared, and instead of your they, mom said it's sorry, okay, so I love you. My mom said no to the needles. Okay, mm-hmm. all right. And instead, she just whispered, I love you in my ear every night for three years. Uh, <laughs> I love heels. Apparently love heels. I went to... Oh, ins- I'm getting itchy instead- watery eyes just thinking about it. <laughs> Don't touch your face. I, instead, I uh, I went I to a I chiropractor Fuck as off. a kid. A chiropractor? Yes. Wow. And this, this was <sighs> the other remedy. You could pick... You could what? Select, yeah, apparently you could select needles or you could select chiropractor. Are you chiropractor. fucking kidding me right now? I no, think your mommy we, just gave you what you wanted. No. I guess chubby yeah. kids. Because I was allergic to every pet we had. And I guess so, chubby kids yeah, just yeah, couldn't get their... Let me pets. ask you. Oh, so your parents <laughs> took the cat to the chiropractor so you could break its neck like, humanely. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Question, Bob. When she said, we're bringing you to the chiropractor, did she say we're bringing you to the chiropractor or we're bringing you to see Steven? <laughs> right. <laughs> Was she on a first name basis? Because there might have been something you, else going on. Are there. you <laughs> telling me was Dr. that there Fred. was an option for a chubby kid to actually have his back bent a little bit? No, there wasn't. That's why this kid got <laughs> Well, no, I mean, yeah. just because they couldn't get through to the spine. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> More surface area. To you, ever tr- you ever try to stuff a Thanksgiving turkey into a roasting pan? It's not easy. I guess you got to do needles instead. <laughs> That's right. Fuck. Okay, so hold on. Now, Bob, Bob explain yeah. to me, please. Why... Yeah. What does the chiropractor do? What, I what am I getting injected know. with that the chiropractor is doing? Any doctors who are watching this podcast, please comment below. They're all just shaking their heads in disapproval <laughs> watching this. You, like, I have no idea what this is. It was apparently it was some sort of like I mean, I think people say chiropractors now like I love the chiropractor now. It's great. So yeah, chiropractor is awesome. I'm not putting down but the chiropractor. It just I don't know what that has to do with children's allergies. Yeah. I know you're allergic to getting your ankles broken in basketball. I know who you can go to. <laughs> Sorry, what was that one, Dave? I said I know he's allergic to getting his ankles broken in basketball. Like, I don't know what a chiropractor is going to help there. I know they do a lot of bone and alignment stuff, but I don't know what allergies. Jesus, Dave, you must have gave uh, Bob the crisscross in grade two, because that seems to be all where Boy. you peaked. Yeah. <laughs> Are you just longing to see your ankles again there, buddy? <laughs> <There's>, <laughs> oh, you didn't see the arch? so swollen with my allergies. <laughs> like, there's so much. 
<laughs> you need a chiropractor for your ankles. Right. They're so swollen with <laughs> my, my seasonal allergies now that spring's coming around. <laughs> Dave, <laughs> thank God Wait, I had shots Dave? every every week for three years. <laughs> now, look Dave's at had that. an allergic reaction his whole life. <laughs> <laughs> Dave always looks like he's been stung by forty bees. <laughs> it. I might not be. I might not actually be fat. <laughs> the how many, like, how many sorry, bees do you live this with? Is just, You're one sixty two. We got to put some weight on you, just man. Maintaining the swelling. <laughs> Because all those shots were, Mr. Thompson, it's, you are incredibly the, allergic to alcohol. It's Please the one stop. Test, you it's are the one incredibly test. allergic to alcohol. <laughs> For God's sakes, Mr. Thompson. That's because alcohol was on everything. That's why he wanted to open it. Great. <laughs> It's fantastic. <laughs> He's like, Mrs. Thompson, I, I cannot test your son because this fat little fuck keeps rubbing alcohol on himself. <laughs> and that's what he's allergic disorder. to, so I can't test anything else. He's, he's eating those goddamn tabs <laughs> like he's a hippie at Woodstock. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's eating the alcohol swabs like he's a Catholic on Sunday eating the body of Christ. <laughs> Keeps turning around. Dave's dropping <laughs> alcohol, waste, <laughs> cotton swabs like it's acid Jesus. at fucking Woodstock. <laughs> Holy fuck. Uh, uh, I love that every allergy test that Dave went to stuck with, started with stick out your tongue <laughs> to make sure he didn't have any Just on like him. you going to church. <laughs> <laughs> Get off your knees, Mr. Thompson. Get off your knees. We're not doing that again. <sighs> It's funny and it makes you not want to go yep. back. Hey, my um, kids are doing all right. This podcast is a deep dive into David, and I am enjoying every second of it. This is <laughs> oh, it's great. Nope. We, we are doing some Jacusto shit on like Dave's psyche right now. But it's right a different now. world, and I'm in a better place. So I think I'm, I'm happy to be open up to you guys about these kind of things. Uh, I, I had something else there. I really wanted to talk a bit more about Dave's crushing. What about you being but sick. It's what uh, about, like, what have you ever been sick? I don't remember you being sick. I, I genuinely I don't know what it is. I I don't get sick is it that because, often. Is like, it because okay, you well you said that and, you said that and then you were like Angie had like fifty you sick stories because you were yeah okay so I'll give one. I, so we were the worst one that I got wasn't really me being sick in the sense of like a, a virus or a flu or anything, um, but we were uh, we were going across the border with a, a couple another couple. Uh, we both had kids. We wanted cheap clothes in like Pennsylvania or wherever it is that they have the the no taxes. Uh, mm -hmm. So we stopped at a beautiful little uh, Italian fine dining place called the Olive Garden. And, oh, I'm uh, so excited. And I, I don't, <laughs> I don't love... Is this where Rocky was filmed? What's that? Is this where Rocky was filmed, in the Olive Garden? <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's right. That's right. Uh, so I jogged up the four stairs and held up my arms. Um, and then my wife told me I wasn't good enough. And uh, <laughs> You got the award for most pasta. <laughs> Bobby was crying. <laughs> I ordered the most free breadstick refills. Um, so it's not my favorite place to begin with, but everybody else loves it. So I'm like, fuck it, whatever. So I get this thing and it has these little steaks in them. And uh, so I, I take a bite and I'm like, hey, if it tastes kind of off. Like it doesn't taste great. Um, but this is like in my moo moo years. So I was like, it didn't stop me at all. You know, I was like, I just, I just hunkered down and went weird. at it. I'm kind of like, and, uh, I don't, everybody like, has I don't them. know why things taste weird. All right. So I'm in my moo moo years. That's right. good to know. <laughs> so to the point where the guy, the, my friend that we're with at the time, my buddy Jeff is like, he's like, let me taste it. Cause that's how stupid guys are. Right. Like nobody believes yeah, me yeah, yeah. that it tastes bad. So yeah, Jeff's yeah. like, I'll take a bite. So he had one bite. Anyway, we drive for a few more hours and we go to the next restaurant because like it was a, you know, a long day or whatever. And we get to inside and the second that I smell food, I'm like, ooh, I'm like, guys, I, I can't. I, and I just went, I turned, I opened the door and I just fucking projectile vomited everywhere. <laughs> wow. And yeah. I had the worst food poisoning. And so I'm like, guys, I'm so sorry. And Jeff's like, actually, I'm not feeling so great either. And so then the, the women are like, okay, well, we're almost there. Let's get to the hotel. So we get there, and uh, and it's getting bad at this point for both of us. Jeff and I are both <laughs> feeling pretty sick, and I'm like, "Fuck, guys, I, I'm so sorry. I got I'm ruining this this shopping trip." And they're like, "No, no, no, you're fine. You guys just stay here, and we'll go." And I was like, "What?" <laughs> and they're like, "Yeah, like it's it's cheap clothes." And I was like, "Okay." And so Jeff <laughs> laid down on the bed. 
And now here's the other thing. It really wanted to come out the other end at this point. Mm. This is not a huge fucking, you know, uh, uh, suite that we are in. This is a tiny little, you know, I think we were actually just sharing a room with a couple queen beds, yep. you know? Uh, shared if you're, bathroom. If you're going for cheap clothes, bathroom. I would assume so. What was that? Say again, Bob? I said, if you're going to the States for cheap clothes, I would assume so. Yeah, right? Yeah, we're not <laughs> swimming in it, you know? And uh, so anyway, now I have to make a choice. I'm yeah. like... I, I, I'm like I, I'm like Jeff. I can't. I don't know him that well at this point. Like we've we've hung out a few times. Our kids go to school together. You know, uh, we thought, yeah, what the hell? It'll be a fun trip. And so, sure about to. yeah. So I'm like, I can't do it. I just can't. Like it's 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 on the cusp. You know, <laughs> mm-hmm. it's like there's a it's it's a water balloon and a kid with heavy hands who wants it to. It was chuck, an expedited you know? process, <laughs> like a so COVID anyway remedy. Let's get Ooh. that. <laughs> so I, I'm like, I'm going to run down to the lobby. And so I get down to the lobby and I was like, hey, yeah, uh, sorry. Is there a restroom around here? And he just checked me in. So this guy knows that he's like, like mm, you got a bathroom. Anyway, he's like, he does the thing that he, he's supposed to do because he's a, a really good employee. He goes, oh, he goes, well, we don't have one in the main lobby because you are too poor to stay somewhere nice. He goes, but there is one here right behind me. And I'm not oh. kidding. When he says right behind right him, behind. he genuinely means it. So now I have a choice. Do I go upstairs and butt explode over this guy I barely know but maybe have to keep <laughs> seeing? Or am I going to just defoul this man's poor area that he works in all the time in the in hopes? Fr- I'm in like, front I'm- of the lobby and all the truckers he's checking in. Yeah, 100%. 100%. So... I, at that point, I, I Larry David the decision, and I'm like, I, I got to do this to you. I'm so sorry. So <laughs> they, they, keep in mind, there's no fucking do 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 do. Like I, this the pressure is on literally. So I scooch back. This behind episode him. goes on for another 25 minutes. This episode is long. <laughs> I I scooch behind beside him, and. I barely shut the door before you just hear this awful, you know, like it sounds like, like howling winds through a forest and it's, it's, it's disastrous. And I, the guy's not saying anything, but I'm like, I don't know what to do. Like, I'm like, it's so bad. And I'm like, it's, it's just not stopping. I can hear him checking a family in. Like, I was going to say, I love yeah, that it idea keeps going. so much. It keeps going. And then it gets worse. It's like a hurricane in a puddle. <laughs> So, it's still going. It's not stopping. I hear this family to the point where I don't remember exactly what they were saying, but they were also concerned, you know. And uh, I was going to ask: Is like the conversation outside of the the room elevating, and they're making an effort? We've got you in a queen suite, and there's a big boy across the road. Are those uh, the pipes? <laughs> so. Uh, I'm like fuck. I gotta just wait till they're the gone, National and then I can Chili finally leave. Chili conventions in town, so we're booked up pretty big. <laughs> I'm yelling out the Olive Garden specials. Um, so Do you guys have Jello in a wind tunnel back there. <laughs> so it's going bad, and then I'm like, oh my god, if this, and then I have to grab the garbage can, and it's coming out both fucking ends. Oh, wow. Uh, the, yeah. the double pipe classic. Very nice. And mm-hmm. I think that I'm being quiet and discreet. Um, <laughs> but totally anyone, right. anyone who has heard me throw up, know it sounds sort of like a Sasquatch mating call. You know? It's loud <laughs> like and it's rough. I just want a t-shirt with that <laughs> phrase. I think I'm being quiet <laughs> and discreet. <laughs> just walking around with that. Just like a disclaimer for everybody I meet. I think I'm being quiet yeah. and discreet. I, like, I'd love... If, if Hugh Grant were to puke and shit himself, Keith imagines himself at basically the same. 100%. Level, I thought that's how it was, uh, but it was atrocious. So uh, I'm still going. This poor family's trying to check in. Um, and it, and they're just, I don't know what they're fucking wandering around the lobby for. Like, just check in and go. Like, it's not, <laughs> I don't know. Like, Jesus. Um, the worst part is no one brings it up. So it's kind of way worse. You know, like, they're And just, they're making dinner reservations for the right. lobby restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> like, there's not a man shitting and barfing right behind the guy checking him in. The kids are like, I'm not hungry anymore. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, so bad. So I'll have what he's having. 
<laughs> so it finally ends. And then I'm like, is there any chance that I could wait this out until this guy's shift ends? And then walk out <laughs> and pretend. Wow. You know? Wow, you're guessing like that's, shift? No, that's going yeah. through my head. Except I can't stop fucking shaking. You know oh, what yeah, I mean? I'm like fucking... Right. Uh, now everything's out of my system. I'm like... <laughs> trying to get up and i'm like and it's it's so bad and uh, like it's it's beyond That's bad the worst so you've just ever. glaze glazing over the reference we're just That's glazing over the reference one. they're Good cool you. not okay cool cool, cool, right, whatever. cool, cool he's cool, fine cool. he's fine he's great he loves it he takes it on the chin um i get up and i go out and it, uh, i didn't know what to do and i literally just i looked him in the eyes and i was like I'm sorry. <laughs> he, was like, he was like, no. He goes, it's okay. Like, are, are you all right? And I was like, well, no. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> and I was like, and then he can see me shaking. So this guy probably thinks I'm a fucking smackhead, you know? Yeah. And I'm like, I, I ate some bad food because who, who doesn't believe that, right? So I... I can hear him as I walk to the elevator. So I go push the elevator to wait for it. And then I hear him opening the door and I'm like, come on, elevator. Come on. Like, I got to, I don't want to be here. And I just, all I can hear is he just goes, oh. um." (laughs) Mm. Wait, you didn't clean up the. You just saw an alternate version of the aristocrat. You didn't bring your garbage (laughs) pail with you. You just left it? No. No, I cleaned up. I cleaned up everything that I could possibly clean up. But you didn't bring it out up, with you. Know? Uh, I, tied you also, off, I tied off the garbage bag that was in there left, and left it in there. Left. I didn't want to fucking carry it around like, oh, look yeah, at this. No, I got to own that. You got to carry that around like the Lost Idol in Raiders of the Lost Ark, right? Like, you you, you got to just, yeah. Switch it. Switch it. <laughs> well, that's awful. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, then the worst part is I get up to the room. And uh, and Jeff is just he's shivering on the bed, and I was like, "You okay?" And he's like, "No, man, this is bad." And I'm like, "I know, I'm sorry." And I was like, "Oh <laughs> God, no, I gotta go again." I was like, "I can't go back down to the lobby." He's like, "Just do it, man. Just <laughs> just do what you gotta do." And so it just happened again upstairs. It was terrible. It was all all a disaster. And Jeff and Jeff um, had already defiled hey, your room yeah. already, so it's like, <laughs> yeah, Jeff already had, Jeff had <laughs> yeah. already said it too. He's like, he's like, I already. He's like, you're fine. He's like, just go. He's like, it's it's over at this point. So <laughs> Don't use the tub. The girls were gone for about six hours. That's... They were gone for okay, about six God. hours of shopping. Uh, they came back. Uh, and then if you want, there's a hilarious fucking add-on to the end of the story. But, uh, you know. Why, um, let's finish strong. Why not? Finish strong. So it's bad. But luckily, food poisoning, if you've ever had it, doesn't last long, right? It's like kind of 24 hours-ish. Um, maybe 40. I don't know. But either way, I was oh, okay. Boy, that seems long. It, what was that? I've never had it either, but it seems like that seems like a long time. It to felt be it was and... it was long. It was bad. Yeah. yeah. Um. Anyway. Well, Bobby. Bobby's had a lifetime of catered food. And... <laughs> right. <laughs> so we're driving home. Uh, we stop at a little restaurant. Oh, Angie is uh, is pregnant at this point with uh, Quinn. Um. So we're just about to have our 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 daughter, and uh, and then. Uh, that finally kind of comes up. You know what I mean? We haven't really been talking about it. Like, I think she was showing, so it wasn't like a mystery, you know, but I think we were talking about, no, I think maybe we, we told them. We're like, yeah, we're having another baby. And like, oh, that's awesome. And then she's mm-hmm. like, yeah, J- he doesn't want any more. <laughs> and she's like, I, I would like some more though. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just see the her, her, her husband's just, Ooh. <laughs> and so then she's like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I just... Bruh, tears just start running down her face. Oh, no. And oh, terrible. I'm like, I'm just trying to eat my fucking moon over my hammy, you know? Like, I'm like, <laughs> it was the most awkward five-hour drive home ever. Yep. <laughs> The best part was when the guy was like at the border. He's like, anything to declare? I'm like, honestly, so much. <laughs> <laughs> That's the music. Dun, 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 How's my isolation dun, dun, dun. tank sounding now, fellas? <laughs> Ooh, I'll take Fuck. it. I'll take it. Um, Boy, to any any priest out there thinking, man, I'd like to get a piece of that after what I hear, sign them wait, up. Are you under the impression priests want to rape you still? <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm saying I, I could probably still no, pull. You're past, you know, I could probably past still your pull. prime, man. Like <laughs> he overcame his like, allergy. <laughs> here's Keith, man. I, I, like that's a little more insight for me, like to you. Like I'm like I might have peaked in grade two, but you still think that you, the the priests still want you, Same. right? Yeah, you, yeah. I was in grade two. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to yeah. get back. <laughs> you're still trying to be all sexy walking by like churches all like shaking your ass a little bit every time and you're walking downtown <laughs> what ass come on the only thing worse than my legs true. Man. the picture for this podcast needs to be just an orange with two little toothpicks coming down out of it <laughs> <laughs> eh, eh, it's not horrible uh great well thanks that was fun what a great way to end um yeah that was good anybody else got a good story uh, maybe not, maybe about yourselves, not me. <laughs> Guys, give me about a week, and I think I'll have a real good one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, awesome. Ryan, anything else? You didn't throw out any hip-hop. Did you want to end on your hip-hop? No, we're good, dude. That's, that was last season. Oh, oh shit. Fuck. Okay, Are moving on. Season three? Amazing. All right, everybody. Well, I think that's going to wrap it up. Uh, sorry. It's, uh, I, fuck, we were all over the map today. There's not really even much to title this one, but... Uh, uh, we'll give it a shot. It's nice to be yeah. back. Yeah, it's, it's nice to be. Don't back. get sick. It's fun. I missed it. I yeah. missed you guys. Uh, we missed you too, buddy. This is it was a good time. It's uh, it, I, all I cared is we got to laugh a little bit. Uh, that was pretty awesome. Um, all jokes aside, Dave, I, I honest to God can't believe you. I thought this thing with your TV was a bit you were doing for the first like thirty seconds. No. Uh, God bless you for oh, committing God. to this. No. Nobody, nobody commits to a this bit is... like Dave Thompson. Remember the fucking the. F- the fourth thing he dragged on oh, for a whole episode. Now he has, I love he it. Will, he will get a bit in the camo clutch and he will not let go of that fucking thing. It's goddamn mm. gorgeous. That fucking bit. I hated it so much and now I laugh every time I listen. <laughs> oh, it grew on me instantly. It's a instantly. goddamn monster. When you guys are roasting me and I hope you make a roast for my roast when I die. But yeah. Uh, a roast yeah, for your roast? You'll realize. <laughs> is this about? Is this whole fitting a turkey in a... <laughs> All of it. I want to be... I was like, I want, is this like in- I want, Inception, a dream within a dream? I want my coffin to be a roasting pan, and I want you guys to roast me, and I want to serve <laughs> roast at my, in my, my funeral. I want that to be, and I want everyone to reschedule right. at least once. I thought we had to do that behind your back. I'm glad you're on board. I'm all on board. It's only fitting. Fantastic. It's great. We're going to stick you in an iron lung and shove you off a cliff. Anyway. <laughs> oh, fuck. Look at him holding his thin dick microphone like Bob Barker. <laughs> get your pets Get your pets sprayed and neutered. Spare your pets. <laughs> Help control the That's pet it. population. We don't want, we don't want pet COVID-19. I want you to just focus on that. <laughs> I like how much we watch that show, and none of us can get the uh, the tagline yeah, right. No, <laughs> not at all. We had three different versions there. I start mixing it up with fucking Billy Red Lines. I'm like, don't you dare miss it. Uh, <laughs> look the same, or as Mr. T would say, <laughs> "I'm pity the fool who misses it." It's terrible. Yeah. It's never gonna be good. It's never gonna be good. <laughs> I'm garbage. 